out our bulletin in the Western Cape, and sources have revealed to ENCA that the suspension of Albert Fritz is over claims of a sexual nature. He has been suspended as Western Cape Community Safety MEC. The office released a statement stating it had received serious allegations against Fritz in the past week. An investigation is now underway. Let's get the latest from reporter Ronald Masinda in Cape Town. Good afternoon to you, Ronald. So some say these allegations against Albert Fritz um, are nothing. Others saying they relate to sexual harassment. What's on the record and what have you heard? What we heard today, Sally, was that uh, these allegations are nothing new. I mean, we spoke to Brett Harron of the Good Party, and he said that even in the past, uh, several women came uh, to speak to him, uh, telling him about their own experiences and how uh, Mr. Albert Fritz allegedly uh, touched him inappropriately. And uh, what we also heard from Brett Harron is that uh, these cases were not followed up uh, perhaps with the police and more investigations didn't take place as many of or several of these women uh, feared uh, victimization or even losing their jobs uh, but our sources have also told us today that uh, they also uh, have uh, complained or have uh, heard complaints about uh, mr fritz we even saw uh, a report from a local newspaper also alleging that uh, mr jp smith was also told by one female in the past complaining about uh, Mr. Fritz and that uh, Smith himself advised uh, the lady to go through the, the necessary channels. But uh, these allegations are cause for concern, Sally, because many, uh, you know, respected uh, Mr. Fritz, although its allegations and investigations are still ongoing, but the position um, he, that he holds of community safety uh, speaks a lot about the concerns that people have on our leaders when uh, community safety is such an important uh, portfolio here in the Western Cape. Uh, but Brett Heron uh, spoke uh, further uh, just to give us a bit more details on his own experiences. It's not for me to speculate. Um, I myself have received uh, complaints around sexual harassment, but the, um, the women were never prepared to, um, to move forward with it, so I, I didn't breach their trust. So it could be about sexual harassment, which is why I'm asking the question, does it relate to the performance of his job as a minister, or is it related to some personal misconduct um, that, that, the, that is very serious? Um, and why I'm asking, you know, how long have the DA leadership known about this? Because there are allegations and rumors that have been circulating for a long time, which I've been aware of for the last two years. So if I've been aware of them, then certainly I believe the DA leadership have been aware, aware of them. And why are they only acting now? All important questions. What is the Western Cape Premier and the Democratic Alliance leadership saying um, about uh, the reason for his suspension and, of course, his decision to step aside? Uh, what, what exactly are they telling us? So according to Premier Alan Windy, this matter is one of a serious one for, for uh, his government. He says that, uh, you, you know, they needed to act immediately in suspending uh, Mr. Fritz. So we also heard from the DA uh, when they spoke to Mr. Fritz earlier this morning that uh, he welcomes, uh, you know, the, uh, him, for himself to step down while investigations take place and you will cooperate when needed. But the concerns that have been raised by not only the Good Party, but also Kosatu and the ANC in the province is just the way the, 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 the you know, the, the, the statement by the Premier was worded. Uh, he gave not a lot of details as to why Mr. Fritz has been suspended in the first place. I mean, a lot of people are saying that this is of a sexual nature. We also don't have 100% uh, details as to was it sexual harassment or sexual abuse, but it seems like it's of a sexual nature. So Mr. Alan Windy is saying, the Premier of the province, that they are going to be protecting the confidentiality of the complainants because that's what the complainants had requested. Uh, they will also go and, on and continue the investigations. And until those con investigations are concluded, then there will be uh, some sort of outcome. But in the interim, uh, uh, Mr. Simmers, who is uh, the one who's going to take in charge of the responsibilities of Albert Fritz. He will be uh, taking, will be the interim leader of the DA. And Anro Mare, who is uh, the, the, the sports uh, 
minister here in the Western Cape. She will take over the community safety duties that will be vacated by, by uh, Mr. Fritz at the moment. But uh, as we heard also from the DA, they are saying that, you know, they followed all the necessary processes and that uh, people must respect that uh, the sensitivity of this case and also that investigations must be done in a proper way. This is what uh, the DA's uh, provincial chairperson had to say. It is indeed a very serious matter and uh, the party learned of this, uh, the provincial executive, we were informed uh, yesterday and uh, there was very quick action taken by the party. I spoke to uh, Minister Fritz this morning and he requested that he step back from his duties as provincial leader to give his support to this investigation but also to make sure that it uh, progresses in an unhindered manner and then uh, the provincial executive accepted that and as you stated uh, Minister Tertius Simmers will be the acting leader in the interim. Okay. How has he taken this news uh, because he's been you know quite reluctant to answer the calls today? Well, uh, I cannot uh, speak to his uh, state of mind. I mean, I had a quick conversation about the, the position and the role of, of leader. We uh, stay out of this matter completely, and uh, that is now um, in the hands of all parties involved and uh, the investigator to make a determination, and then we'll get feedback and take our decisions based on that. A final quick question to you, Ronald. Um, so it seems that he was suspended as community safety MEC, but he has since stepped down as provincial leader of the party. Just talk to us about what that means in terms of process going forward and his connection to the DA now. So following uh, the Premier's announcement uh, that he, he has been suspended as a community safety MEC, uh, the, the party itself had then engaged with uh, Mr. Albert Fritz. And initially, uh, a statement came out earlier today saying that, uh, you know, Mr. Fritz has decided to step aside from his duties for the meantime and that he is expected to perhaps return at around the end of February. Uh, they suddenly made a U-turn uh, to mention that you know, he's stepped aside and that Mr. Tertia Simmers will be taking over the, as a DA leader in the interim. But uh, what we can uh, say at this moment, and this from the conversations we had with the DA, is that Mr. Fritz himself is the one who decided to step aside and that he wanted to, he had said to the TA that he, he wants this whole process, uh, you know, to be done in such a way where uh, the tension is not on him as a DA leader and as a DA leader he has a big responsibility but one wonders as to uh, what other revelations will come forward because uh, as I've heard from several sources there are quite a number of uh, women who came out uh, to lodge a complaint and it was following those complaints that uh, Premier Alan Windy decided that uh, immediate action had to be taken and uh, we, we, we are yet to find out as to how long the process of the investigation will take place but the Premier is confident that, uh, you know, once everything has been uh, stated, that uh, the public yeah. will be told or will be alerted as to how the investigation has taken place. But the Premier is also quick to say, Sally, uh, just in closing, that, you know, in as much as he knows that people have criticised the, the way he worded his press release yesterday, he does, however, take full responsibility and that this is to protect uh, the complainants, uh, people who uh, possibly worked in the office of uh, Mr. Uh, Fritz and right. many people whom we spoke to said that because these people have come out to, 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 to say this now, in, in the past uh, it, it felt like they felt that they would lose their jobs mm -hmm. should they uh, come out and complain about uh, Albert Fritz. All right. Well, thank you so much for that update. NCA reporter Ronald Masindo.